now we find our now we enter uh Campbell's secret room. There's a music player there's that music player. The Fugue Feast. This is actually kind of important. Actually from a book on the celebrations and holidays. Remember I noticed how like they don't men they don't talk about who Emily's father is? Which seems kind of odd, considering she's the daughter of an empress. Well, I, said, I think this is probably the explanation for it. It's not specifically said, but... At the end of every year, after the last day of the month of songs, we, we begin the Fugue Feast. The new year has not yet start, has not started, and thus the time that follows is outside the calendar. The ancient Mayans had a thing like that. A, a, peri a period of celebration and feasting begins, during which, people, during which the people abandon the very practices that keep them whole and healthy over the year. Many leave their homes, euphoric with spirits or potent herbs. Some paint their faces or wear masks to conceal themselves as they pursue their passions without reservation. When the right cosmological signs are observed and it is time for the calendar to begin anew, the sitting high overseer calls for the hymn of atonement and the fugue feast ends. Families return to their homes, wives to their husbands. Enemies put down their weapons and fires are extinguished. No, com no complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient codes, or discarded oaths. For this time during the for this time during the astrological alignment does not exist and is not recorded. The following day starts the new year, marked on the first marked on the first day of the month of Earth, as it has always been. So they never explicitly say it, but they never explicitly say it, but I, I suspect that the reason they put that in is is to explain, I think the implication is that probably Emily was conceived during Fugue Feast, and so the whole question of is you know, hey Empress, who's your daughter? I mean, who's you know, who's the who you know, who's your who's the daughter of your who's the father of your? I do not know families today apparently. Who's the daughter of your father? Yeah, who's who's the father of your? The question who's the father of your daughter doesn't get asked because it was in Fugue Feast, and you just what happens in Fugue stays in Fugue. Imperial decor plate. Ooh, 100, 150 coins for that. Pistol. A rune. Some sort of gas mask, apparently. Okay, he's talking about. He's talking about the. Uh, Emily is being held prisoner at the White Cat. Uh, okay. I, yeah, there's some. There's some there's some ladies clothing here. I don't, I Well, they were you know those guys were talk those guys were sneaking in here and oh there's sleep darts. That has creepy implications. There's sleep darts in here. My girls. Let's see. Campbell. I'm not sure how my predecessor operated, but from now on if one of my girls tries to blackmail you, you send her back to me at the Golden Cat instead of concocting some plan on your own. I've had to replace three girls in as many months. And you can imagine the business of carnal pleasure isn't booming in this plague-stricken hole you call a city. Madam Prudence. Par apparently, yeah, so Campbell is... So, you know, Mr. Head of, head, of, head of the State Religion is apparently a customer of the local... Uh, house of Ill Repute, and apparently at least one of their girls has gone missing because of him. So... I'm glad I poisoned him, basically, is ba the upshot of all that, basically. And now we return. And that's about it in here. One of the, uh, I believe if, if, you, if you use the heart on him, you know, you notice, you know, there's a rune in there, which overseers are not supposed to be into. Mm. I believe if you use the heart on Campbell, one of the things it says is that every day, like as a private, as his own private little joke, he intentionally breaks each of the seven strictures. So that's how corrupt he is. Now, I'm basically done here, but there's some some other stuff to see. There's some sights to see. Oh, that, that that was a member of the of the watch, as opposed to uh, one of the overseers, because 
He was one of the guys who accompanied, uh, accompanied Jeff Kurnow. I promised I'd save Kurnow, not any of his lackeys. So, uh-oh, they're on to me. Oh! Down he goes. Yeah, there's some other interesting stuff to find here before we go. Now that is a uh, like a control box for that alarm. If you use, you can use a rewiring tool on those boxes to subvert whatever it is they're connected to. For in this case, for instance, disabling the alarm. Now we're in like a little archive library area. Now this this guy has dialogue. Is um this changes depending on how you've played before. Now, see, yeah, that depends on, you know, if you actually did leave a trail of bodies or not. You're on high hey, chaos. Um, the trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows yep. everyone. Can you... Deposition log number 73826. The case of Agatha Harcourt. Deposition from Mary Wallace. I smelled a peculiar stench from Agatha's window one night. As I looked in the window, I saw her burning over a fire the bones of something small, along with clumps of hair. Deposition from Herbert Alcott. On several evenings as I came home from work, I saw Agatha peering at me unnaturally from behind her curtains. On the fifth day, I felt a pain in my stomach upon approaching her home. Outcome. Agatha's home was searched. Several outlawed items were found, and Agatha was caught as she attempted to flee from the back door. Her interrogation yielded little of use. Home and property seized for the Abbey remains cremated. I may slice some of this out since it's just sort of... Oh, oh right. And here, remember the, her the interrogation room. Remember the, the, what they said about the, the heretic's brand. If that's the route you want to go, you have to get the brand, and then you knock uh, Campbell unconscious. And you drag his body here, you strap him into that chair, and you just burn his face off with the brand, basically. Well, not off, but it leaves quite a mark. Right, as implied. There you go. Now I have the interrogation room key. Out you go! You know, I don't get to use the word defenestrated very often, but... So it's always nice when I have an excuse. <laughs> Hemlock essence. Spring razor. Boom. Pair of, pl pair of pliers. Locker. Oh, and there's a little area up there. Right up. Gotta figure out a way up. There's the dentistry Dunwall style. <laughs> New uh, definition of medieval. Yes. Well, actually, it's the old definition of medieval. <laughs> All right, here we are up in this area. The Great Trials. Excerpt from an Overseer's Findings by High Overseer Tynan Wallace. Spent two years in the company of heretics, the insane, and those rare black-hearted villains who are truly practitioners of magic. I can say with truth that I have seen such things as to break the minds of most. While the trials and burnings weigh heavily upon my heart, I must chronicle what had been a unique opportunity to witness the multifarious perversions that the outsider bestows upon those who seek his black counsel. Many of those we face were accused of bewitching their neighbors or family, controlling them from afar, or even walking around in their skins. And I have seen this with my own eyes, as one woman slid into the form of another, prowling unseen until a vigilant overseer struck down both the witch and her host. Other Others, detailed therein, detailed herein, were found to stand in two places seemingly at once, or to vanish from one place and appear in another. Some of these may sound a little familiar. <laughs> Our work was dire, we knew. 
For if the followers of the outsider can truly inhabit the skin of another, or move from place to place like the wind, then how can we hope to erect walls to keep him out? It was these trials that first led us to investigate barriers beyond the physical. So yeah, that's... So it sounds like the outsider is not opposed to being liberal with power. Yeah. Yeah, the outsider, like I said, he seems to find people he thinks are interesting and bestow powers upon them to see what, what kind of shit they get into, basically. Aged 30, perhaps. Mm. Slender. Unusual tattooing on the face and chest. Probably There's the brand. Heresy. Wearing some sort of industrial mask. Oh. Stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last. Remember Dowd? Poisoned himself. All right. The heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous acts against the order, but have not broken codes that would otherwise result in execution. No contact, aid, or shelter can be given to one bearing the brand. That person is forever unwelcome to the Abbey and its affiliates. When used, the brand is applied to the forehead, so all can see the sins of the recipient. The chemical compound acts immediately, scarring the heretic for the remainder of life. The, inter the interrogation room here at the office of the High Overseer stands ready for branding ri the branding ritual, should the need arise. The recipient must be strapped into the interrogation chair and restrained as the brand is applied. The heretic brand itself is to be stored in the same room. So... Yep, that's... Yeah, so that's there's no question... No, that's kind of the weird thing. Apparently, like, they don't ask, like, you don't ask why. If it's just, the guy's branded, then he's branded. Which do, which does seem kind of open to abuse, I have to say. Yeah, if that, uh... It's kind of, it's kind of contrived, because they needed a way to, to, like, to, to, to eliminate Campbell non-lethally, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it is kind of weird. But luckily, we don't have to worry about that, because he's dead. Go me. Go Team Evil. Woo! Yes. And now, on... Onward to... Towards our escape. Bitterleaf Crematorium and Fluid Works. Allow us to remove your departed loved one. Full incineration with no remains but ash. Retrieval from your home with gentle handling. That is a fucking logo. <laughs> well crafted. Tin of brined headfish. Go to backyard. Ooh, we've walked in on something. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Burn home, don't let them yeah. get Guard. <laughs> Take this. Take that. <laughs> you appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. Cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. All right. See, sometimes helping people out pays. And I got to kill. <laughs> That's not the only way to get that combination. But it is one way. Nice. All right. Now Still we're approaching. Warm blood-soaked ways. Yes. 
now we're approaching uh like a bunch of barracks and whatnot. A lot of overseers out here. And we'll also see some of their dogs. So with all this murder that's gone on, there's no immediate alarm raised? Well, there, no one's really living long enough to raise it. No, oh, that's true. Dead men tell no tales. Are you still on about that? 